Hi, my name is Nikki and a few weeks ago we went out with a team of teenagers to a, um, a neighborhood in Bloemfontein to hand out food parcels and to pray for people and um, I've met uh, an old lady uh, living alone in her house and, um, and we've prayed for her and she was so touched by it and then she asked me for a blanket and um, I promised her to take her blanket and so the, uh, on, uh, a few days ago we went there again and I took her a blanket but she was not at home and so I was uh, I didn't realize she was not at home but I was um, 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 standing at her gate and shouting <laughs> to get attention whoever's in the house but then her neighbor responded across the street and said now the lady is not there um, um, but she will be back later and I asked the neighbor so um, will it be possible if I can leave the blanket with her will she give it to a to this um, older lady and she promised me she would so as I was walking to the car to get the blanket and walking back um, uh, I started speaking to this uh, the neighbor and um, as I was speaking to her and starting to ask her who she is and what she's doing um, somebody parked in front of their house and um, and this lady came out and so these two ladies was uh, our friends and they are living together and um, and this lady just interrupted our whole conversation and she said something terrible happened today and um uh, and it's, uh, she doesn't know what's going to happen. And I asked her, so what happened? She said, no, she has learned that she only have work for three weeks still, but then she is retrenched and she can't uh, work there anymore. Now she has to find a new job. And she was uh, crying about it. It was terrible. And I said, well, we came here. I believe God wants to minister to you. Can we come in and pray for you, with you? So we went, they invited us into the house and we prayed with them. And this lady just broke down crying and she couldn't believe that um, you know, on this terrible day that God would um, send her there. And I, um, the, the morning when we went into that neighborhood, I wanted at first to go straight to the house where we had where I had to give the um, blanket for the old lady but I just sense I mustn't go straight to that house we must first do a few other houses and um, and later on during the morning experience I must go there now and I was walking there and and I uh, the lady was not there and then I started turning towards the neighbor and um, and it was such a divine connection uh, an appointment with actually speaking to the neighbor and not just the lady with the who needed the blanket and I could just see how God orchestrated the whole morning the timing of me meeting up with the neighbor and standing at the fence and um, and the other lady stopping there in in such desperate situation of being encouraged that God sees her and hears her and um and I could minister there and it was such a blessed morning with them and um and I can just see how God has his eye on everyone he's the God who sees and hears and he knows who who needs his encouragement at the right exact timing and um so yeah I was encouraged by that may you be encouraged and know that God has his eye on you and his ear is open he's the God who never sleeps and slumbers and he is aware and he hears everything and may you be encouraged that God sees also you with circumstances and just reach out to God and ask him and um, I pray that he will send somebody on your path when you need that encouragement be blessed